Hi, this is Peter Kaminsky doing a quick how-to on exporting messages from Mattermost. We'll use the Mattermost API and here's the page here. We'll know that we need to do authentication, so let's look at that real quick. Be a little bit gentle with this page. It can sometimes run kind of slow. So we don't want a session token, what we want is a personal access token. And then you'll see here in their example that we use that as uh, this H means header and we'll use it as a bearer token to authenticate to the API. If we click this link here, we'll get to personal access tokens and go to creating a personal access token. Your system administrator will have to have given you permissions to create an access token. So ask your system administrator for permissions and then come back and do this. We need to do account settings, security, personal access tokens, create new token. Let's try that. Now I'm in the Mattermost client and I'll go here and then account settings, security, personal access tokens, click edit to manage your personal access tokens. I don't have any yet so let's create a token. I enter a descriptive thing here that says a little bit why you're using this token and probably the date. Uh, this is just a reminder for you to remember what this token is, how you're using it, and you'll be able to come back and see a list of tokens and you'll know which ones to delete or, or save. So I will write exporting messages and today's date. And I'll click save. I happen to be a system administrator so I will get this warning you won't get that if you're not a system administrator. So I know that I want to create it, so I'm going to say yes, create. And then here is the information about this token. I'm going to save this place, this someplace safe. This especially is the token itself. This is like a password, so manage it like you're, you're managing a password. I've got a little scratch pad here that I'm going to save it in temporarily and I'm going to delete this out of this scratch pad before I save this. Usually I would put this access token in my password manager. If you lose it or forget it that's fine because you can always come back and generate a new one. Do not let other people have this token though. This is equivalent to you being able to log in to Mattermost as you and so they could potentially post as you or delete messages as you, things like that. Okay, so now that we have a personal access token and we know a little bit about how to use it, what we'll do is actually go to the posts. I know that messages are called posts in Mattermost, so I'm going to search for posts in the API docs here. I'm going to click on this header to get to the post section. And in this post section, you can see the various kinds of things that we can do with the post. We want to scroll down to get posts for a channel. There's some other interesting ones here, get a thread, get a list of flag posts, get file info for posts, but we want to grab all the posts for a channel. I'll click on this and look at the documentation. Now this is a little bit clumsy to copy here, but I will just grab this with Command C and then compare it to my cheat sheet, which I've already prepared. It's this one here. If I paste it, let me try that again. I, did, I was doing it right after all. It's just short and I didn't recognize it. So we can see that we'll need to replace this part with 
we're using this server, chat.collectivesensecommons.org. We'll leave API v4 alone. We want to identify the channel, and then we want to issue a command to get posts. For this demo how-to, I'm using two commands, which you may have at your disposal, you may not. One of them is called curl, and one of them is called jq. Curl is fairly standard on Unix-like systems. It's just a way of issuing a get or a post command. And then jq is uh, a way to pretty print JSON. So these returns will be in JSON, and we want to look at them. Instead of curl and jq, a lot of people would be using something like postman, and that's fine too. But this is kind of the, these are very basic commands, and, and it shows the, the conceptual parts of it, at least, without any of the overhead of a tool like postman. Even though it does have a little bit of overhead, because you have to know a little bit about curl and jq. So, turns out, to get the posts, we'll need a channel ID. To get the channel ID, we'll need to list the channels in a team. This is a list of all the channels in this team. This is a team ID, so to get a list of team IDs, we'll have to go up here and use this. My guess is you may or may not be able to get a team ID uh, without system administration permissions. So you may have to ask your system admin to give you the team ID. So let's start at this one and uh, before we even do that I need a personal access token so I'm going to take this access token and I'm going to paste it into my templates here this is where it goes and then I'm going to issue this command in my shell so this gives me a list of teams and here is the here's the team name and the slug and here's the ID so you'll see that this ID is the same as the one I've got here and so now I will get a list of channels and look for the channel that I'm looking for so this is a list of all the channels in the server in that team and I wanted to look for a channel called quest tracking collaboration dynamics I'm going to search in my terminal for tracking and I can see that the ID for that channel is this here so that's why I've got that there so now I can get posts copy this and paste it into my terminal uh, you'll see that I got a bunch of posts there are some let me do a little bit let me do this a little bit of a different way I'm going to output this to a file and then you'll notice that I've got the JQ in there parsing it for me or pretty printing it the the JSON data is the same either with or without the JQ, but if you want to be able to read it, you kind of want to run it through something like JQ or Pretty Printer. Let's look at what the top of this looks like. You'll see that it's got an order, and I'm not even sure what the order is. And then you'll see a bunch of metadata for each. reactions and files and all kinds of good stuff. This is not necessarily in chronological order. You'll have to read the documents a little bit more for get posts. And you'll also need to work through pagination. So number of posts per page, which page you're getting. You can specify since before or after. That's all left as an exercise to the reader. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me either on Mattermost or by email and I can help you with using this in Postman or maybe writing a Python script that encapsulates this and also getting the right team ID and 
helping you get a personal access token on the CSC Mattermost. Thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.